So we have another iPad here. This is a 12.9 inch first gen and it doesn't power on. Customer mailed it along with two iPhones, an iPhone 5C and another iPhone. I forgot which one it is. So we're going to start with this one here. Now I plugged the charging cable and I'm currently getting a reading of 0.49 amps and nothing comes on the screen. 0.49 amps. That's it. This is not a normal amperage draw that charges a battery. Usually it's above one or somewhere close to one. And if we try to power it on, the amperage on the meter does not change. If I press and hold the power button, it's still the same. 0.48 amps draw is an indication that something is drawing amps on the board and possibly a short. Okay, what I did not check is the customer's screen, the cable is torn off. And not only that, but also look at the iPad. Look at the FPC area of the iPad. We have to change both connectors. We're gonna have to replace those connectors here. The first thing I'm gonna do is check the board under a thermal cam. The thermal cam will give us a very good indication of where we may have a short if in fact we do have a short. Okay, so this is the board right here. Let me plug the charging cable. And look at this. Look at this. As soon as I plug the power cable, the first component that heated up is this one here. Let's try this again. Okay, I disconnected power. It's going to cool down. And then let's apply power again somewhere here. Something here shorted out. Look, the first thing that shorted out is this component here, this one here. Meter in diode mode and let's test. And yes, we do have a short. So I'm going to use five millimeter nozzle and you can find this nozzle on our website. And we're going to focus heat on this component only. Just like that. And we touched the component above. Now we're going to see if we still have a short, but I'm going to wait for the board to cool down a bit. Short is gone. <laughs> the short is gone. So one end is ground and the other end, no short. So I'm almost 99.9% .9 positive the tablet is going to turn on. The first thing I want to do is monitor amperage being drawn by the tablet to see if we are still getting the same 0 0.45, 0 0.48 amps. Slug the charging cable. And let's see. And look at that. Look at that. 0 0.96 amps being drawn by the tablet. And that's normal. 0 0.96 is normal. So I'm almost positive the tablet is going to work based on the amperage being drawn by the meter now. So the cable is made out of two parts. One part is totally ripped and the other part has a damaged connector. The soldering will happen from the bottom here. We have to solder those pads. So let's proceed. Okay, so I'm applying low melt solder.
we soldered a new flex cable. Everything is good and everything should work. Now we have to fix the FEC connectors on the board. Let's do that right now. And let's do the other side. Okay, and let's prep the other one also. This one here. Okay, that's it. Okay, I see we have a blown... Is this a blown touch filter here? Look at this. Look at this. What the... How many things are wrong with this tablet? Poppy, are you gonna break it? Stephen Leon Galaxy S7. We worked on it, but we're waiting on a part. Wait, you don't have any more gum? I mean, is it possible? Is it possible at all to have anything else wrong with this tablet after we did what we did? We'll see. We fixed so many issues with this tablet. I'm starting to doubt.
Okay, so moment of truth. Yes, tablet is on, but the screen has a problem. Look at this. I knew it. I knew something else would be wrong with this tablet. Look at this. It's on, but uh, the screen looks like it suffered damage from the top when the customer pried it open. It was sent to us not connected, so customer pried the screen and it looks like the screen suffered damage. Okay, so we have another screen here and Press and hold the power button. I'm gonna press and hold the battery down. Battery is probably not making a good connection. Press and hold the power button, and yeah, right there. And this screen looks good, unlike the customer screen. And we'll touch work, we'll touch work. Yes, touch is working, yes. Press the OK. So that's it, the job is done. We replaced the LCD flex cable in hopes that we would save the LCD because the LCD for this tablet is not cheap. But unfortunately, his screen has damage from the top and that's due to the way the screen was pried open by the customer or whoever pried the screen open before they mailed it here. We fixed the short circuit with the motherboard. We replaced the two FEC connectors on the board and we also replaced the blown touch filter. Everything is working perfect. Everything is good. It's up to the customer if he wants us to replace the screen for him or if he want to do it on his own. But uh, <laughs> if the customer chose to do this on his own or somebody else want to do it for him, we may end up getting this tablet back here again to do the same thing all over again. Uh, it's not something I want to redo on this tablet. We let the customer know and it's up to the customer to decide what he wants to do, he or she. And uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.